Hello and welcome to another installment of Baby Whoop channel with me, Alicia. The process from conception to birth is so intricate and mind-boggling in complexity. It's no wonder that things can go wrong. On today's video, we're going to discuss hormonal imbalance and the effects it has on fertility. Roughly, 30% of all female infertility is caused by a hormonal imbalance of some sort. Hormonal balance is necessary to get pregnant, carry to term, and have a healthy baby. Do you ever wonder if you have a hormonal imbalance? If so, it's important for you to understand that hormonal imbalance is not something that happens overnight. It happens slowly over time. We live in a fast-paced world full of high demand. That demand puts a lot of stress on the body and our dietary habits. On top of that, we are exposed to more human-made chemical toxins than at any other time in the history of the human species. Most hormonal imbalances are a reflection of lifestyle choices over a long period of time, perhaps months, years, and decades. So what exactly does hormonal balance mean for our fertility? What do hormones do, anyway? Does hormonal balance really matter? Absolutely. There are key hormones that directly affect fertility health in both men and women. Female infertility is often caused by women's inability to ovulate or release an egg. Failure to ovulate is usually rooted in hormonal problems. In many infertility cases, a woman may be producing too little of one hormone or too much of another. Those imbalances may result in subtle flaws in egg development and ovulatory dysfunction, which accounts for many instances of infertility and miscarriages. Hormones that play a role in ovulation and fertilization include progesterone, estrogens, and androgens, thyroid hormone, prolactin, insulin, steroids, and other pituitary hormones. Disorder of the thyroid gland, either too much thyroid hormone or too little, can interrupt the menstrual cycle and cause infertility. Now let's talk about the symptoms of hormonal imbalance in women. Common signs and symptoms include heavy or prolonged period, mood swing, night sweat, vaginal dryness, decreased sex drive, cyclical migraines, acne, hair growth on face, rapid weight gain despite no dietary or exercise change. Charting your cycle is an excellent way to begin to ascertain whether you may have a hormonal imbalance. So how does one achieve hormonal balance? If you have had your hormones tested and you know specific hormone levels are not where they should be, first talk to your doctor about medical options. For example, if you know you have high thyroid stimulating hormone, which is confirmation of hypothyroidism medication, is the best option for balancing that particular hormone level. If you know you have low progesterone, your doctor may recommend scientific progesterone supplementation but there are natural therapies for hormonal imbalance such as adapting a nutrient-dense fertility diet, proper exercise, reducing exposure to endocrine disruptors, and so on. At babywhoop.com, we have many articles to help you out. If you don't see an article related to an issue you have, you can contact us for more information. Each of the articles, we do have provide information on specific diet, supplement, herbal, and other natural therapies specific to aiding their hormonal imbalance. This is for this installment. Be sure to join us again for more info and tips on getting pregnant and beyond. This is Alicia signing off. Please leave a comment, rate my video, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Ciao!